Compute traders are very powerful and useful in a variety of projects. And now, with TypeGPU, our library built on top of WebGPU, we hope to make defining and executing your own compute pipelines easier than ever before. While developing our library, we had fun time creating a few examples of visualizations that use capabilities of compute traders to calculate some data that is then used for rendering, also through React Native WebGPU and TypeGPU, like the following ones. These examples created originally for the web can now be easily run on React Native applications due to React Native WebGPU with little to no modifications. You can find all of our examples and their code implementations on our website, typegpu.com. Machine learning workloads are perfect candidates for GPU acceleration, and TypeGPU makes implementing these workloads more approachable. We've designed TypeGPU to be foundational. We don't provide AI-specific abstractions ourselves, but instead we created the conditions for an ecosystem of modular inference libraries to emerge. TypeGPU enables this by providing building blocks that let developers craft precisely what they need, with type safety bridging the gaps between TypeGPU and Wixel worlds. We've demonstrated this potential by implementing MNIST digit recognition on the GPU. What stands out is how the data structures remain human-readable throughout the pipeline. Neural network operations remain legible and maintainable even as they execute at GPU speeds. We're also working on a new React Native package for confetti animations run exclusively on the GPU. Compute shaders are the core part of the implementation as the positions of each of the particles are calculated in parallel within a compute pipeline. We managed to give users the ability to deeply customize the simulation. Configuration is more than just numerical parameters, it's a change in behavior. For example, gravity can be more than just a static vector. It can depend on the current position of each particle. TypeGPU made it much easier for us to create and expand the simulation as opposed to just using the regular WebGPU API. And it's also easier for users to contribute their own logic. What users pass to the confetti component is essentially just a tagged TypeScript function that can seamlessly integrate into parallel computations on the GPU. It's kind of like what Software Mention did in reanimated with functions that can run on the UI thread. We make TypeScript functions able to run on the GPU. If you want to follow our progress, you can check out our Discord server, GitHub repository, and our website, typegpu.com. See you there.